Paris has offered for me an incredible balance. When I'm in Paris, I'm constantly reminded of how beautiful and wonderful and poetic life can be. I've always felt that if I had any justification to use a camera to shout about what is wrong with the world, it's because I have such a profound belief that life can be wonderful. And when I make photographs of people, I think it's very important that I look them in the eye and they feel that when I'm photographing them that I'm, I'm honoring them. I'm, I'm honoring their life, I'm honoring their existence. And I think people often, most often in fact, can really pick up on the en energy and the intent that one brings to one's work. And there is amazing connection that can take place just through eye contact. There have been times in my life when I've, I've been photographing someone I've never met before, I've never seen before, and in a period of sometimes a very quiet 30 seconds to five minutes, there's literally an amazing exchange of love in the interaction between two sets of eyes. I have worked for years now with one of the greatest printers in the world, Voya Mitrovic, a man who has printed for many of the great photographers in the world, people like Cartier-Bresson, René Burry, Kudelka, Salgado, and on and on. And I've had the great good fortune that Voya has been my printer for the last 20 years. Voya's traditional silver prints are, are literally magical. And I am aware, because I worked as a printer in my early days at Picto, at a photo lab where he worked himself, the sort of mecca of great black and white printing, I'm a, very aware of how important the contribution is of a great printer to the expression of a photographer. My book, French Kiss, A Love Letter to Paris, is a tribute to everything that this city has brought me over the past 40 years. I love photography, but at the end of the day, I care more about the themes of life that I photograph. And when I photograph, I try to put my heart and my concentration and my energy and maybe everything that I know about the world at the service of trying to make a photograph that's going to touch other people and say what I would like people to, to feel that I felt when I observed the moment. <laughs>